Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have another review for you guys and I'm going to be talking about the Season 8 premiere of Doctor Who. Now I'm going to start out with a quick recap of events, uh, events in this episode that is, and then I'll go into sort of my thoughts about uh, tonight's episode. So basically Doctor Who has, sorry, the Doctor has his grand entrance uh, in a matter of which he is accustomed to. Uh, he enters into this uh, episode as a new version of himself inside the throat of a Tyrannosaurus Rex or some other similar dinosaur. Uh, he lands in 1890s uh, England, where he is soon found by the Paternoster Gang, basically Madame Vastra, um, Jenny, and Strax. And, uh, yeah, we're uh, greeted with this new doctor who has... Very little idea of who he is, uh, what he's done, and he's still trying to figure out uh, everything about him. So he goes crazy, uh, can't figure out anything really, he's pointless, uh, worthless uh, in this episode for the most part. Um, and there's uh, this sort of uh, weird thing going on at the time where there are all these mysterious spontaneous combustions and they sort of figure into the story in that there is this sort of alien robot from the future that got stranded sometime in the past for millions or possibly billions of years and uh, he's using human parts uh, to sort of get back to his time to repair like repairing his ship and then uh, make it back to his time. Um, yeah, there's a strange uh, series of events that sort of leads to the resolution of this storyline, only to leave uh, more questions to be asked at the very end. And again, spoilers. Uh, you should sort of expect spoilers going into this, but at the very end, we see this uh, robot. Uh, I forget what the exact name is for this type of robot, but for those of you that saw um, the Madame de Pompidou, I think, uh, uh, episode where uh, basically they're chasing her and the doctor, David Tennant, has to sort of help her. But then he gets her too late at the very end because there's a sort of time differential between uh, his uh, timeline and her timeline. And uh, he ends up getting to her too late at the very end, and she ends up dying. Um, there are these robots that are chasing her. They're from the sister ship of this episode's robot. And it's just very complicated. But at the end, he makes it to this sort of heaven, where he's greeted by this strange woman who claims to be a friend of the Doctor. And we're left with guessing, who is she? What is she doing? Um, pretty much though, uh, that's the gist of what happened in this episode, and here are sort of my thoughts. Now, I can tell right away that there's going to be definitely a higher, uh, special effects budget, uh, there's going to be lots more CGI, and just effects all over the place, uh, as it's pretty obvious they have a lot more money to do different, uh, things, and possibly they'll be visiting even more locations, uh, even across the Earth. Uh, let's just wait and see what's going to happen. But Doctor Who is definitely a popular TV show, and they're starting to spend more money on it. But, I don't know, it kind of goes against uh, what Doctor Who was in the past. Very uh, campy and basic and kind of hilarious, uh, hilariously bad costumes. That is, of course, um, the original uh, series, but even the newer series have been more or less the same. Just over the last few years, it's sort of gotten um, a sort of boost in uh, the special effects budget. Um, as for Peter Capaldi, I definitely think I'm going to enjoy him as a doctor, but it's still hard to say at this point. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out his exact uh, character type. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be the uh, serious one, the dark one, the brooding one. Like, what's his role going to be, really? Uh, Clara, I never really liked her from 
the point of introduction with her character, but I don't know. Uh, there are lots of characters that I haven't really liked in the Doctor Who TV show, but I've come to appreciate them in some capacity. Uh, much like Donna Noble, do not care for her at all, but I completely understand why she was sort of integral to the progress of the story at the time. Um, but yeah, I like that they that they went back to Victorian England and they had uh, Madame Vastra, Jenny, and Strax. I definitely enjoy seeing those characters and I love it when they uh, bring them back for more and more. Like I definitely want to see them in more of a recurring role than just... Um, I don't know, uh, less of a recurring role. Uh, I don't know how to word it exactly, but I basically just want to see more and more of uh, Strax, Jenny, and Vestra. Um, but yeah, the, the number one thing that gets me about this is that final, final moment in uh, the premiere episode in which the robot goes to that heaven. What is that exactly? My theory right now, minutes after just having seen it, is that the heaven is actually the core of the that library uh, from season four, I believe it was. Uh, I forget what the library was called exactly, but uh, that uh, planet that was, like, the whole planet was a library, and there were the people saved to the core, but then at the end, that's where... Um, that is where, shit, I forgot her name, uh, River Song. That is where River Song dies, and then she is stored, like her soul or spirit or mind or whatever you want to uh, say it is, is stored inside the core along with um, all the other people that were part of her sort of uh, expedition, I suppose. I really, really, really think that it has something to do with that. It's going to be tied to that somehow. But for all I know, it could be something completely different altogether and something brand new. But the way that they've been bringing up things from the past, uh, considering even just uh, these robots themselves that are taking uh, human organs and body parts and whatever to... Uh, rebuild their ship and rebuild themselves uh, is taken from a previous episode. I really do think that that end segment was a nod to something in an older episode as well. Anyways, I've gone to eight minutes now. Uh, I shouldn't ramble on for too long. Basically, these are my thoughts. The acting was enjoyable. The special effects budget, of course, has shot up. I can't wait to see more. It'll be on every Saturday here in Canada. I don't know what time it'll be playing in other countries, but here in Canada, Space Channel, uh, I believe 9 p.m. every Saturday, and I cannot wait to see more. Uh, hopefully, they go to a lot more uh, alien locations instead of just to Earth's past or even Earth's future. I like to see them visit a lot more alien uh, planets and stuff like that, but who knows what they're going to decide to do this season. Anyways, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Also, check out my 300 subscribers contest. It'll be linked in the description below. Also linked in the description below uh, are links to my Facebook, Twitter, and website. Check them out if you have the time. Uh... And I think that's about it. See ya.